Hello, uh, this is my ear con. Uh, we're gonna be explaining in this short video what are the fatigue concepts. Uh, it's not dealing any calculations or anything, it's just to prepare the students uh, how to deal uh, fatigue life. Uh, definition of fatigue and physics behind what drives fatigue and crack growth. Uh, common methods of analysis, analyzing fatigue performance, practical consideration in fatigue analysis. These are the major topics we're going to be dealing with. Uh, uh, weakness in metal, uh, fatigue can be defined as a progressive failures uh, under repeated cyclic fluctuating loads. Uh, simple uh, failure results when fatigue starts from a single crack and pro Propagate until the ultimate occurs. So the m compound failures, uh, the 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 crack starts uh, from uh, from the origins and propagates uh, uh, different locations. Um, basic uh, idea, history behind uh, Liberty ships, uh, big disasters. Uh, I'm not gonna go into that uh, fatigue history. Uh, again, I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, uh, 1954, uh, Mr. Miners explains. Uh, uh, actually, 1945, uh, the Miners rule uh, introduced by uh, Mr. Miners, and then 1954, he de he described uh, fatigue into plastic strains. Um, next slide. Uh, D. Havilland. Uh, D. Havilland. Uh, 1949, uh, the first uh, major commercial airliners, no GPSs. Uh, in black and white picture, you can see the the square windows, and the new near the heavy lands, uh, the round windows. Uh, that was uh, the major uh, the fatigue uh, corrections, uh, uh, how the fatigue can be improved. Uh, uh, Next slide. Uh, in 1999, recently, uh, uh, the high-speed train derailed in Germany and killed 101 passengers. Uh, uh, all standard metal wheel caused vibrations. Uh, as as you can see, that the, there are a lot of vibrations in all standard uh, wheels, and and uh, they use the isolated uh, rubber isolated ring on top of the the all metal. And based on the design, uh, used uh, it was successfully used in low-speed trains before. It wasn't testing in high-speed trains. So the the crack started, uh, and then uh, the train had derailed. Uh, uh, you guys can Google this incident. Uh, pretty pretty disastic uh, fatigue problem. Fatigue design philosophy, uh, fail-safe design. Uh, uses careful structural design to achieve fail safety, uh, provide redundant loads path for main members. Uh, ideal condition for critical component designed to fail into safe con conditions and then survive until repairs. Uh, fatigue concept failures by formation of slow stable growth of crack usually s at stress as well as uh, below GL. Stress ruptures, um, the failure and the static load, uh, uh, yielding brittle, excessive elastic deflections, uh, uh, bearing, uh, crushing, uh, overheating. Um, these are the few examples uh, that can cause. But if you see the graph here on uh, number one, uh, the first part is named as primary creep. Uh, second is uh, the secondary creep and third is uh, the treasury creep. So in first one, uh, the, the rate uh, of plastic strain follow, is very, uh, it's decreased the rate of the crystal in the metal alignment against and then, then the, the uh, when the alignments uh, of, the, of, the, of the atoms or metal materials uh, disaligned and then they start the secondary creeps and the treasury creeps, the rapture happens. Um, physics of fatigue, uh, crack initiations. Uh, fatigue and crack growth are driven by cyclic loading. Constant stress won't cause crack 
initiation or growth. Uh, however, fatigue cycles are defined by change of stresses or strain, either by simple stress amplitude or stress range. Uh, uh, how does the crack start? So, few uh, pictures, uh, stage one, stage two, uh, crack tips, elastic area, examples uh, of aircraft uh, bracket that crack starts. Uh, next one, uh, crack roads. How the crack roads. Uh, this is a one cycle A, B, C, D. As you can see that the A, B, C, D crack roads. Uh, uh, slide uh, crack roads. Then what? Plastic area, stress concentrations. Every time uh, our structures uh, or structural engineers they use all oh, stress concentration is high, so we have to beef up this structure. This is what this looks like uh, when the stress concentrations are high, or or when they see something uh, bad thing is going to go happen. So. Basic of fatigue, uh, these are the few basic of uh, fatigue, uh, low cycle, high cycle. So low cycle use the EN curves, so high cycle use SN curves. Uh, also thermal and fatigue, uh, 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 mechanical thermal fatigues and you know, corrosions play a bigger uh, role in, in that uh, area as well. So. Uh, basic of fatigue, low cycles uh, has a low number of cycles failures uh, with the high stresses and plastic strains. Each cycles uh, EN strain curves drives the uh, crack initiation model plastically and uh, cyclic fatigues. Uh, high cycles has a high number of cycles to, uh, fracture with low stress and plastic strain uh, for each cycles and stress drives crack initiation. So, uh, corrections. Uh, picture can tell the story. Um, a few examples of turbine blades. Um, uh, another uh, cycle size, uh, how much uh, cycle size, miners rules. So basically so we're, our major things we're going to be explaining uh, uh, what is miners rules. Uh, miners rules is a linear cumulative damage theory that simply states the fatigue failure is expected when the life fraction sum of unity when the hundred percent of life is exhausted. Uh, this is a minimum stress, this is a maximum stress is how the um, for a, for a titanium um, graph from Milhand book. Uh, minus rule uh, uh, cycle X together linearly and cause damage when consumes of life. Remember the bank analogy, expenses like mortgage car, all act together, consume savings. The failure occurs when damage sum to one. The meaning the life budget has been consumed. Um, and uh, load sequence effects are not ac accounted in the minus rule. Minus rules, uh, life X estimates, uh, this is how the minus rules, uh, the high, high cycles, low cycles, high cycles, and number of N is, N I is a cycle, cycles. Damage for uh, cycles, uh, this is, these are the equations of how to calculate the damage is, is one by damage is a life, uh, how to calculate life. So a few uh, modern tools, to calculate uh, the fatigue, so FEM is a good tool. Uh, my uh, MSC fatigue has a good uh, fatigue calculation. Encode is a food, uh, good software, and there are few others uh, uh, software that do a very good job on fatigue life. I actually, I have used a number of uh, uh, tools, uh, especially MSC and Encodes, and then. I did the testing on those, uh, came up really close. Uh, the end codes are the, my favorite one. Uh, uh, mm. They stand behind their product, a uh, good company, good product. Uh, another few charts, uh, crack lens, uh, how the crack lens and this uh, stresses, uh, life limits, crack checks. Uh, next. 
uh, this 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 video concludes our uh, stress uh, uh, fatigue uh, uh, small presentations but the next time we will be calculating how to calculate the fatigue life so using uh, uh, minus rules Dagman and uh, Nibler's uh, stress curves uh, uh, until then and uh, goodbye